And now the end is near And so I face the final curtain My friend, I'll say it clear I'll state my case Of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've traveled each and every highway And more, much more than this I did it my way Put your hands together for the president of the Guiana Ex-Police Association, Mr. Patrick Augustus Will. Thank each and every one of you for attending this auspicious occasion. As the master of ceremony has stated, this is one of my vision. And um, with the help of members of my association, it has come to pass today. One of the persons that had the the, the vision with me was Brother Benton. He was the first person I spoke to. He was the person I asked if he would do me the honor of um, designing our flag. Within a few weeks, he brought us to the association five different designs of our flag. That was passed through the membership and they voted overwhelmingly for the one that is now flying on the black pole here. Ladies and gentlemen, this association has been in existence from 1967. This association has come a long way. This association has helped the community and has helped others in their progress for a better life. My intent is to make sure that this association is known by everyone. It must be known, it must be respected, and we will continue to go on time after time with that respect. And the challenges that I have seen and heard from other members of this association were so positive that, to my mind, they have helped to improve the status of this body. We are in the process of implementing certain other improvements for our association. As time goes by, you would be informed of this. And I'm quite sure, just like how you have um, stood by us today, you will do so in the future. My very, very, very much thanks to the Uniform Services of Guyana, APGI. Give them a hand. The Guyana XGDF members. The X Prison Service members. And uh, there are others, you know, you've got to excuse the old age and the, you know, not keeping up with things. But um, the Nurses Association is one. The Teachers Association, the Ex-Teachers Association, and others who I, I may fail to mention at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wills. As the... <laughs> The MC said, Patrick Augustus Wills. What a beautiful name. <laughs> I'm proud of it. I am proud of the people that um, I call my forefathers. Um, here's my great uncle. He said it would be sacrilegious for I to elucidate the momentous fact that in our rustic community, our genealogical super excellence is paramount as is evinced at this continual gathering. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
With the raising of this flood, the Guyana Ex Police Association has put their mark on the future. Again, I would um, like to extend heartfelt thanks having you here on behalf of the ex myself, the executives, and the members of my association. Again, thank you very much. Let's give President Wells a tremendous round of applause. And even though he's not feeling well, he's still here to ensure his words are heard. On I'd like to introduce a gentleman who most of us know. He happens to be the CEO of the Ghana Ex Police Association of America. This man stands 10 feet tall. A man who is not afraid to speak his mind whenever the opportunity arises. A man I have learned to respect in every way. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the president of the Guyana Ex-Police Association, Mr. Patrick Rose. Good evening, everyone. What an introduction given by the master of ceremonies. I will not dispute what he said. But I'm not going to embrace what he said. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to stand before you here tonight. And um, my best wishes goes out to all our honored guests, the assistant, the, the, the still serving assistant commissioner of police, Mr. Paul So and his wife, the retired deputy commissioner of police, Mr. Edward Wills and his wife. And yours truly, the president of the Guyana Ex Police Association, and his brother. Ladies and gentlemen, my heart is filled with joy and philanthropy to see this gathering of various faces about me to join in this momentous occasion. Our mandate, as embedded in our charter, is um, to ensure that we collate with communities, with other associations, and assist in bringing relief to those in need. We will continue to do so as the years go by. We are members of that association that has done more than is expected of them. For that matter, this 42nd anniversary of our association also encompasses the giving of awards to those members that really and truly we ensure that our association is a success. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to thank each and everyone here tonight who have take time out from their daily routine to be with us here to participate in this endeavor. Again, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself, the executives and members of the association, I bid you welcome and hope that um, you will enjoy the festivities Looking at you, I know that um, there is a stamp of approval for our association. That is why you are here. Again, on behalf of our association, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to invite you down, Mr. President, but please walk with your class. We're going to have a toast. To everyone who's here, on your table is a glass. To the health of each and every person here tonight, and to our organization, the Guyana Ex Police Association of America. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! And then for this award, the person who has displayed sense of dedication to the 
progress of the Guyana Exclusion Association. A person, despite tremendous adversity, has never faltered or has been deterred in keeping his shoulder to the wheel to ensure the advancement of our August body. On behalf of the executive and members, I take great pleasure in presenting Brother Patrick Wills, President of the Guyana X Police Association of America Incorporated, with this plan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a pleasant, pleasant surprise. And um, let me let me first of all read to you what is written on this map. Outstanding leader of war presented to Patrick A. That is for Augustus Wills, President. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. In, um, in acknowledgement of your tireless dedication to the upward mobility of our association. And there is the crest of the Guyanex Police Association and the motto that is written around it, Unity, Brotherhood, Integrity and Progress. This day I must say thanks, thanks very much to the members and executives of, 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 of our association and public for words, man. And um, my sincere thanks goes out to them. My profound love for this association keeps me going, regardless of what obstacles I might encounter. But the road to victory is never smooth. There are always bumps that you will have to traverse to ensure that you can get to the end of your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, this award is one of the greatest gifts I have received in my life. Thank you. Oh, no, not me. I did it my way. For what is a man? What has he got? If not himself, then he has not To say the things he truly feel And not the words of one who kneels The record shows I took the blows And I did it my